Hey guys, Tony here from TheEnhancedMan.com. This is the next video in my series which is titled Being at 95% Asexual and you might be asking what the fuck is that? Well let me explain it to you. I've been taking a dutasteride because I'm on testosterone replacement therapy and if my hormones are like say the level of a 20 year old, I don't want to be losing my hair. I like my full head of hair. But uh, oh yeah, that explains all these uh, these marks on my forehead. That's not from my TRT. Uh, I was out airsofting on the weekend. I got shot quite a few times, and yeah, the forehead ones seem to uh, bleed a little. Today I've been doing uh, airsoft for the first time in years, and so far this is all the injuries I've sustained. And there's probably going to be many more to come. Pretty much every one of these BBs on the floor is uh, the ones that have hit me. See, one of the most common side effects with dutasteride is a loss in libido. Can also give you impotence, which hasn't happened to me, although it makes me last a lot longer, which is a, a welcome side effect. Uh, but yeah, the loss of libido, I mean, because I'm taking uh, TRT, uh, a lot of people complain that uh, it gives you too much um, sex drive because you know you're getting a, a rise in that, like kind of ambition and whatnot. But uh, yeah, then it can be cancelled out by the, the rise in sex drive. So you know you're you're thinking with your dick rather than uh, thinking about you know being more productive or getting further in life. Same with uh, taking Concerta or Ritalin or Adderall. For some people that can boost their sex drive. So I've got mine as being pushed one way and then pulled back the other. Another thing is um, obviously I'm on this kind of journey to get to prosperity and it's very common for people to lose their libido where if they've got kind of money stresses or just stresses in general that really affects your libido. And I think mine is, there's a there's a link between my bank account and my uh, sex drive. So I think the healthier it gets, then yeah, I think my uh, sex drive will also get healthier too. And yeah, I guess when I'm not in a kind of tunnel vision work mode and I'm say on holiday, living it up, then yeah, you know, you see a few bikini clad girls and I'm sure the uh, sex drive will be back in full force. When I say 5%, I'm talking about the instances where say a girl might throw themselves at me. And uh, apart from that, it just doesn't even enter my head. I mean, it's almost like roles have been reversed because normally men are the ones that are kind of like a dog on heat chasing the woman. Uh, I, I understand what you're doing, Matt. You do? Mm-hmm. Women have been doing this since, well, forever. So we know all about the power. See, us having the power, that's part of the system. And by you taking the power, you're fucking with the system. Okay, shh. It'll be over in like two seconds, okay? Would you care to join us? Hmm? Oh God, not the tops. Imagine society if the use of dutasteride was more commonplace. I mean, more than a half the male population do suffer with uh, male pattern baldness. Then you wouldn't have um, the likes of Harvey Weinstein and all these decrepit uh, sex fiend males that uh, give us all a bad name. The whole Me Too movement, uh, that wouldn't exist, would it? I mean, it's, uh, it's food for thought, isn't it? A girl once told me about having a meeting with this guy to become a franchisee of his recruitment company, and he offered to write off the, uh, the fee to be a franchise by going upstairs to the hotel room with him. I mean, that doesn't happen the other way around, so clearly there's a difference between men and women. But then again, who's got time for utopias? I think there just needs to be more of a grassroots strategy, you know, in schools just uh, teaching boys not to be fucking desperate losers. I mean, uh, Zara McDermott did uh, an interesting documentary on the BBC just uncovering rape culture and it's a lot of it's linked to just being addicted to porn. So maybe just that being kind of seen as not okay, stigmatised. Be sure to like and subscribe, but also leave a comment because that helps the algorithm, thus helping people find this invaluable content. So I'll see you in the next video. Much love and peace out.